is a logjam for solar and PV permit applications. Blue Planet Energy offers a solution that can also save you money in the long run. Battery storage systems. In part one, you'll learn what makes their batteries safer and better than other ones on the market. Blue Planet Energy was started from the vision of Hank Rogers. Through Blue Planet Foundation, they've done a lot of incredible work for the, the policy, the credits, allowing the avenue for 100% renewable energy for the state of Hawaii. One of the missing key components for that is we've got the technology out there for creating energy, solar panels and wind. And so Hank's focus was we need to store this energy. And so he had done a bunch of research trying to figure out where and what is the best technology out there that's available that's on the shelf that's ready to deploy today. So that takes Hank back to his Tetris days. When Hank was uh, working on Tetris and developing that in Japan, he became friends with the now president of Sony in a funny way. They were playing video games and having fun together. Well, out came this new battery technology here uh, back in 2011. At that time, Sony in Japan was dealing with Fukushima. Well, we know the issues that that has created. Hank and, and Sony at that time realized we need to do something with our islands. So they brought in a newer technology that's safer lasts up to 20 years that can be uh, provided in a home, business, or utility scale. That's when Hank contacted Sony and said, hey, I've got my Blue Planet Research facility and we're looking at taking it off-grid. And we want to test the different battery technologies to find out which is the best technology out there. And so that's how this relationship was then developed with Sony from that standpoint. So now we have policy and all these other opportunities that are being built with Blue Planet Foundation, which is an incredible foundation there. And then Hank felt like, let's move this thing along quicker. It's going too slow. That's when he decided, hey, this technology works. It's been operating in his ranch since 2013 at the research lab flawlessly and put it in his home and been running ever since, deploying this technology and finding great opportunities throughout the entire South Pacific of how to take other islands 100% renewable off-grid so they're not dependent on oil and diesel anymore. So the question a lot of people have is what makes your battery technology different than other battery technology? You have Tesla and you have all these other competitors out there offering a battery technology. What makes yours unique? The key component is safety. And, and that was Hank's number one point. He says, yes, a lot of these other battery technologies out there, they, they do what they say they're gonna do, but there's an unsafe characteristic towards it. So for instance, if you ever notice your cell phone, you'll notice that it gets hot when it's charging and sometimes when you're using it, right? It's high density, great for mobile, like in cars, transportation, it works perfectly. But there's a thing called thermal runaway. If they get too hot or if there's a fire on the outside, they literally can uh, explode and create major challenges. So Hank goes, I don't want to be a part of anything that could do that. The Sony lithium iron phosphate technology. Basic difference there is it runs cool. It's a little bit bigger. That's why it doesn't work well in mobile devices. But for a, a stationary device, it's perfect because also because it doesn't get hot, it lasts longer. Our battery can last over 15 years. and, and where other technologies you might see out there, they might only last eight years, maybe 10 years at the max. Not only does the battery warranty for 10 years, we also have a production warranty on that for 12 years. So many people want to put solar electricity on their homes because our rates are so high. But what's happened now, through all the great programs, there's so much solar energy being produced during the day, they have more power than they know what to deal with. They can't distribute it correctly. You can put solar panels in the home or business, and then during the day, your solar power is going into the business or home, and then excess power is stored into the batteries. It doesn't even deploy into the grid. And then at nighttime, when the, when the sun drops, you now pull power from the batteries, and then if you need extra power, you, you're still connected to the utility for a safety there. And so when people see the cost of uh, 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 solar panels and batteries, they go, wow, that's a lot of money. But then when we do an analysis, let's look at what you will pay the utility being connected to them for 20 years. And then we tend to find that an average homeowner is gonna pay the utilities over $125,000 in the next 125 years. You can have PV storage for half of that. So how is that possible? 
Well, it's possible through, this, uh, through the federal government in, in some federal tax incentives. Up to 30% of your system is covered by the federal government. So people are thinking, I'm going to wait for the cost to come down, and you can do that, right? Many folks decided they're going to wait for the cost to come down in PD, and now all of a sudden they're going, oh, I can't connect anymore. So there is a time when you can wait too long. So with the benefit, the technology is here, it's proven, name brands backing it, now the federal government has these 30% federal tax credits. When you start to implement that on what you would pay, we're pretty much at grid parity. I can offer the same amount of power, cheaper, better quality power that's, that's good for the island, that doesn't create carbon offset issues, and that's 100% renewable at the same price or even less than the utility today. Next month, we'll introduce you to some of the people who share their personal stories about why they are passionate about the technology they're using at Blue Planet Energy.